Hi guys, Crystal with Ryan and Crystal's Reviews. And today, I am so excited because I got to wear this dress. Um, let's see if I can go further back so you can see it. Um, it is the one that I got from Hot Topic. Gray dress, follow the size chart, it's perfect. I'm wearing an extra large, I'm a 42.35. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely love this. It is a poplin cotton, and this actually can get smaller. I just don't do that because I like to sit. <laughs> and I like to eat. Um, I'm wearing a Kate Spade necklace. And then um, I've got this cardigan from Torrid that I wore with it today because I don't show my arms off at work. Plus, it gets really chilly in there in our office. So, oops, I got it inside out. The pen is also from Hot Topic. And the spider brooch is one that I sell at shinysequin.com. I'm not sure if I have any listed right now. I need to really, you know, I, I said that last year I missed Halloween. I'm going to miss it again because I'm a procrastinator. That's why. So anyway, um, I'm supposed to do all that in September. And here we are, October. <sighs> anyway, I'll go ahead and show you all my unboxing because I got three items today. And then I got this. Woo! <laughs> My son had to go pick it up for me. And I'll go ahead and show y'all what I got. Y'all ready to see what I got from Kate Spade? I don't know. Let's just do the other unboxing. Y'all want to see what's in here? Or do y'all want to see what's in the pink bag? All right. I will go ahead and meet y'all in the middle. We'll do the pink bag first. And I finally got the teapot. I've been wanting this one, but I'm, I was on the fence because I don't like the new uh, uh nicola glass stuff and this is just the last of the stuff that she designed um this one's actually better than the um excuse me the watering can that i had to return i regret doing it i should have just kept it just to have it you know but then i have a cheap one from a flea market that's better quality um so anyway back to the kate spade one it's got a mag a magnetic um class or just a magnet there magnetic closure um, it does have these little uh, holes right here so you can because you can carry this as a clutch I wouldn't really recommend it because uh, Well, I don't know. I don't think you can really carry much because of the way it's made So I think it'd be either way you can either carry it like a clutch, but you're risking this to open up and you lose your stuff um, It does have a strap. So it's a crossbody And it's a little leather cross a little cross. I can't talk. I cannot talk today um so it does have like a leather strap that matches the rest of it. It does have a um, an enamel or acrylic. I don't know what you call this. It's resin maybe. Yeah, it's co it's colored resin. Um, like the top of the teapot, and it's got the little leather where right it's sealed. Um, it is made of leather. It's got the engraved um, heat stamp um, Kate Spade logo. The inside lining is kind of like the old school Deborah Lloyd stuff from like before they started doing the one with the idioms inside of it. Um, but instead of like it being polka dots or other prints or whatever, they went with spades. So, you know, so there you go. Um, instead of using this one, I'm actually going to take the strap off of the, um, I don't know, it's just one of my other crossbodies that I have that have the snake um, strap. That's kind of like, well, here, look. I'm going to take it off one of my bags that has this kind of chain. Um, I have a bunch of them that do that. And at the top of my head, I can't seem to think of which one I'd probably do it to. Maybe the swan, maybe the cab. Uh, probably the cab. The cab is a little bit longer than the swan one. The cab is kind of like this length. Um, oh, wow, this is bent. I never even noticed that about my bag. Oh, there, I popped it back in place. Um, oh, that was kind of weird. I hope it doesn't pop see that's what I get for not storing it correctly so anyway um so yeah that's what I got today from Kate Spade I'm really excited I just when I got the call or the text from um one of the sales people there um she just let me know that you know they had having some really good sales and I asked if they still had the teapot and you know my son went and picked it up for me because she said they only had one left and I did not want to miss out so I'm like you know what I know that anything over a certain amount I discuss it with Ryan you know, but this time around, I just couldn't because I knew he was going to say no to wait till tomorrow. And I'm like, what's one more day, right? So, uh, 
we're just dealing with PNC or whatever. It's a new bank that acquired our bank. And just all this transition, it's just our direct deposits are going to be all whack. <laughs> that's all I can say. So that's why he doesn't want me to like kind of like spend money right now. Um, because we're in the process of moving our money to another bank. So anyway, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Um, so I got this at the mail too. So this is something I did manage to score. And I'm like really excited. Because I have been, baby, I'm doing my recording. <laughs> so little velveteen pouch. Um, it's not the one that should have come with it. But I'm okay with it. Because this is actually pretty hard to find. Um, I've had such a hard time finding it. I've missed out on it a few times. Baby, I'm recording. See, I'm going to have to start doing that to him when he's doing his little reviews. I go upstairs. Um, so anyway, so here's little glass eyeglasses. It's a really cute little um, bracelet. And it's got a little, this one's different than the others. Most of them are like a magnetic kind of like clasp type thing. This one's got this little thing that latch you kind of pull up and it's so magnetic but this is kind of cool the way they did this one because even though it's magnetic sometimes they come the, you know they lose their um they lose the magnetic thing they get demagnetized that's the word and then they don't work and then you're stuck with a bracelet that you can't really do much with so anyway so this is a cute little bracelet <clears throat> i like it because it kind of looks like my eyeglasses so now I gotta find the necklace. So I'm on the prowl now for that. Um, I'm kind of steering away from clothes. So I have way too much clothes. And I'm starting to get into accessories, as you can tell. Like I absolutely love wearing, you know, like Onyx rings, things like that, estate sale finds, um, unusual wedding band, things like that. I keep losing my wedding band. So I'm using the ring my son got me for Mother's Day in the meantime. Because I have a wedding band. It slipped off somewhere. I was doing laundry. And the next thing you know, when I was like putting stuff away, I'm like, what happened to my ring? What happened to my ring? So anyway, um, this is a Poshmark purchase. So let's see what I got from Poshmark. <gasps> what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? I just sold mine. It shipped out yesterday, the 3X, and I finally got it in my size. And this makes me very, very happy because she said that it's, yes, it's, it's going to fit me. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at this. In my size. I do not have to, you know, oh, my God. I, I don't have to get one of them altered, anything like that. So this makes me very, 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 very happy. I just love this cantina band they're like my favorite part of star wars you know even before i started understanding you know star wars the movie i i just love that little part and that's actually the ringtone to my phone and you know that's kind of what saved my butt the other day we were at uh tom thumb not tom thumb albertson's and i put my phone down because i was dealing with my grandson you know he was kind of throwing his little tantrum and i was talking to him and i put my phone down on a coke display and I walked away and my phone stayed behind. And then when I was about to like show my app, um, the, the uh, what is it called? The Starbucks app. I was going to open it and show them that, you know, to pay for a cup that I got my daughter. That's when I realized like, oh my God, I haven't had my phone for a while. And then I told her to call it. So she kept calling it. And thank God that that ringtone, no matter how low you have your volume, it is loud. So all I could hear is. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh my God, keep calling it. Keep calling it. And then I like ran. I ran across the store as fast as I could. Because I'm like, somebody's going to steal my phone. I got all my grandson's pictures in there. And, um, and I'm like, my dog pictures and videos and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God. And I'm like, call it one more time. And then I heard it because it got louder and louder. And I was like, oh my God, I left it on the Coke display. So I ran back to her, paid for the cup. We took our groceries to the car. And that was my eventful Friday afternoon. Um, so anyway, so Cantina song saved my life. I don't know the name of the song. I know it's got a name, but I just call it the Cantina song. Um, so anyway, so it's fully lined. It does have some stretch to it because it's got some elastic bands, which helps. 
um, this is an extra large. I made sure um, I checked the measurements before I purchased it or before I sold mine. Um, so thank God that it is a big skirt, you know, so it's gonna fit me. You know, it's not one that runs small. So I'm excited. The next thing is a box that my friend sent me. It's a care package. She's trying to bribe me. You hear me, Jess, if you're watching, you're trying to bribe me <laughs> into giving into giving my um, little golden books dress. It's a head address that I should have purchased for my store, but I felt kind of weird because my LLC wasn't, um, ooh, my eyelash, I need to take them off in a little bit. Um, so anyway, so I, um, I should have ordered them for my shop, but I didn't because I, you know, I was just like, oh, well, I don't have my LLC yet, even though they had already given me permission because they knew that I was in the process of filing my LLC and getting everything approved. So um, Unique Vintage had approved me. Um, but I was just like, oh, I'm just so, I felt weird, you know, not, not being like 100% a business yet. Um, so I didn't order these dresses and it's always been my, one of my biggest regrets was not buying them. And I managed to score one and oh my God, that quality is amazing. I know I paid a little bit more than I should have on it, but it was so worth it. So um, I've only worn it once. No, I've worn it twice in a year and a half. So, I don't know. Maybe she might get it. I don't know. Maybe I might just give in. Maybe I might not. <laughs> but she's been bribing me. But no. She sent me this cute little dog. Look at this. Um, this is one of the purses by Kate Spade that I've been on the fence about. I've been like, I'll, I put it in my cart and then I don't check out because I'm like, do I really need it? Do I really need it? And you know, now that I see it in person, I'm so glad because I did need it. Look how cute this little dog face is. He's kind of got like the little, like the little jaws of a basset hound. If he would have had some long ears, he would look like a basset. But at the same time, it kind of looks like a little pit bull. So it's just a little dog with pearl eyes. And then the little stud nose. Um, you can you can really smell the leather. It's a really nice piece. Um, they took care of it, whoever owned it before. And um, thank you, Jess. I, I love this. You know, this is so cute. I'm actually going to use it tomorrow. So you will see it in my outfit of the day picture tomorrow. But so cute. Look at that. This is an adorable little dog. He's just so precious. I love him. Um, okay, so on to the next thing. The dress, the dress. She sent a dress. <laughs> oh my God. So she sent me two dresses. Last week she sent me the Oogie Boogie dress. And now this week she sent me one of the dresses that I was going to buy, but Ryan had me on a dress. But it's called, um, what do you call those things? The... Uh, dress jail or ryan doesn't really put me on dress jail he just kind of says that i need to like do laundry so like that i can not do laundry as in he's being like you better do laundry no it's more like you know if you do laundry you're gonna have like a hundred more dresses in which he's right because by the time i manage to start working on my load of laundry after everybody else washes i kind of lose interest and i'm like oh I got about a thousand more dresses to wear. I'll just leave it piled in there and then finally get around to it. And then it, it literally feels like I went shopping because I'll look around and I'm like, wow, I forgot I own this. I almost bought this dress again. Like, holy cow. I mean, I, I'm not lying when I say I've got two rolling racks where I hang my stuff. I have the closet. I take some of his closet and then I have laundry that I need to do. So I really do have a problem and I really need to like, not laugh about dress jail, but actually respect dress jail and just kind of cut back on that, which is why I was saying, I think maybe I should just do accessories, you know, just a couple of necklaces here and there that I can match with my dresses and just kind of enjoy wearing these dresses. Cause I mean, look at this print. This is the Mary Blair collaboration that they did with, um, pit up couture. And this dress is called the Heidi. You can tell by the neckline. It's such a cute neckline and it's so flattering. I mean, it's just, it, it creates this curvy illusion. And then it's like a swing dress. It's got a full skirt to it. Um, I'm not sure if it has pockets. I know a lot of the Mary Blair stuff did not have pockets. Most Heidi's do not have pockets. So this does not have pockets, which is okay. Um, you know, I got a pocket right here. Stick my phone right there. So anyway, so I have this really pretty dress but it's gonna have to wait until after October 31st before I can wear it. 
because I'm doing the 31 days of Halloween. But I love this. This is so cute. I mean, look at this print. I had this skirt at one time and I had to sell it. And then I also had the other kitten, the little, um, it's like the turquoise one with the little kittens. Really cute. And I sold it because my friend in Australia really wanted it and I really didn't need it. You know, I didn't really wear it. I just wore it for outfit of the day, hung it back up. So I laundered it, sent it to Australia. And now I'm just kind of like, man, I should have kept that dress, but it's okay. So anyway, wrap up for today. I got my gift from my friend Jen, the little dog by Kate Spade, a little cat dress also by Marie Blair, Mary Blair, Marie, <laughs> Mary Blair. And then I got my cantina skirt, my cantina band skirt from Poshmark. Oh my God, I'm just so happy. This just makes me really happy. This was a really good unboxing. And then my really cute little bracelet. Isn't that precious? Um, so anyway, so that's it for today. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, I did post on TikTok. You can find me under Shiny Sequin. Those are mainly dog, dog videos that we post on there. And um, I posted a hack on what to do when you don't like halter dresses like me. I can't stand them. And what I do to fix that problem. Um, so I just, what I pretty much do is I change my halter dress. I, I, I convert it into a regular dress. And it doesn't take like really good sewing skills i mean you can leave the pens on there for all you want so anyway go check me out s-h-i-n-y-c-q-i-n on tiktok it's also the same on instagram shiny sequin s-h-i-n-y-c-q-u-i-n um and that's where i post my outfit of the day and all that fun stuff thanks for watching thanks for following um and i will catch y'all on the next unboxing bye